What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Here we are in the Forgotten Ruins, floor 287 and ready to push out just a few more levels in Onslaught. So let's go ahead and get things started off with our flyer lanes. So I've got some stabby zappers with proximity. Proximity on flyers on this map particularly is not absolutely wonderful for sure. I think, how do we want to do this? Now I do think that the ladybugs will just blow these up. What do we got over here? We got stabbies over here. Let's go ahead and go with, hmm, you know what, let's just overkill it. Let's go four. I don't need these four, I don't think. Or these two. You know what, let's do it anyway. We'll go two and two on the Sky Guards, just that way we don't even have to think about it. Now over here we've got Omega Squad Gamma, so we've got a whole bunch of little shieldies. They're phased and abominable. Now I don't plan on fighting over here, so I'm not worried about the abominable. And they're phased, so they're going to be moving exceptionally slow, which is kind of nice. So I think on this lane, we can do just kind of like a standard issue spawn camp here. Go with a, a Weapon Man, Flame R, Lightning Strike R, and a PDT. And that should get the job done. Oh, we got Timmy down here. Now, just Timmy lanes are actually really, really easy. Armored means they're going to take increased magic damage, which is good. And to be honest with you, on a Timmy lane, I think we can go just one Weapon Man node. Maybe something like that. I mean, shy of the boss coming, this lane here should be really easy to burn. And that leaves me just a ton of DU for the middle. And we have Omega Squad Iota. We got 20 Frost Orcs in the mix here. We got a whole lot of Frost Mobs, and then we've got Longshot on quite a few of them. And a lot of little ranged Gobus, too. And I think... With the number of frost mobs I have here, hmm, I am going to throw down a weapon manufacturer. Let's get, let's go ahead and get all three nodes of a weapon manufacturer now, and that leaves me at 650. Now 650, that's 250 DU, that could be five ramsters. Now I'm not sure if that's what I want to do though. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now I do have uh, fire ramsters here. We're going to fire servo, anti-frost, and then defense range. And how do we want to handle this? I'm actually thinking four may be better. As then that will allow me a little bit of protection against those ranged gobus. So I could go something like a reflect beam there. And I do think I want, I want to move this up some. Let me go ahead and take my token trip to the drink here. Get this out of the way right up front now. There we go. Swimming is all in order. Let's move those sky guards up this way here. So let's go... Can't put one there. Let's just go... Let's go something like this, actually. They're back far enough where neither of the sky guards will aggro from these frosty guys for sure. And then let's just upgrade one, one of the sky guards on each lane. All right, I like it. Let's give it a shot and see how it works. Four, four ramsters here. So let's see if these ramsters are able to get the job done. I guess I could have pulled out uh, that weapon man a little bit further. There we go. The rams are getting up in there now. And the range gobus are aggro aggro into me instead of the rams, which I want them to aggro to the rams. Because if they throw at the ramsters, then of course those shots are going to bounce back and they're going to freeze up all of their homies. That can be frozen anyway. But it looks like we might just have a regular old spawn camp. Four ramsters. Now these are Chaos 8 rams now. They're not, uh, they're not 
max chaos eight, but they have been upgraded. Actually, maybe, maybe they are max chaos eight. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look at them. We got a stray lady orc wildly appeared out of nowhere. Looks like we'll get it done here. Lava Guardian down. We got one more Assassin. Of course, the Assassins that can't be stunned are always a bit of a pain in the butt. But what can you do? Let's see. Let's upgrade the Poo out of that. Let's hit the rest of these Sky Guards. And I actually have plenty left to upgrade all of this stuff, so I think shy of a boss coming out of this lane, we can just ignore that lane now for sure. The Just Timmy lanes are without a doubt one of the easiest lanes to get. Then we got 159 left. Let's just spray it into some rams. Now let me take a look at those rams again. Oh, the, no, they're just upgraded to Chaos A, but they are not maxed. So 0 of 5 on the upgrades in this one. And let's go ahead and let it roll again and see that lane, that wave went extremely smooth. I was not expecting it to go quite that easily. Uh, having the long shot and the frost mobs with the fire damage on the rams, it's just making the rams hit really hard. I mean, they, they do nice damage anyway, AOE damage, of course. And then the fire damage, of course, is doing double damage to any of the frost mobs. So they're wrecking it up. I mean, that one lane... In, or one wave, they were over a billion in damage done on that one on the end, anyway. Did I put the barb in? I don't think I put the barb in the deck. Just kind of stay away. Ooh, there's a cannon ogre. Now, hopefully that cannon ogre aggroes those rams. That would be about wonderful. Because he'll just shoot himself right in the face over and over again. Nope, he's coming after me. Hmm, he took an odd turn there. And he is just shooting everything now. There we go. Cannon Ogre down anyway. It's unfortunate. A little wasted mana there on uh, those Ramsters going down. I should have just got a little more aggressive on that Cannon Ogre. Probably wouldn't have had this much of a problem. But five mobs left. We should not have an issue completing this wave. There we go. Alright, so let's get our rams back up. Uh -oh. Almost fell off the edge again. Alright, so the rams are back in place. Let's go ahead and give each one of them one upgrade, just because. And we lost a Skyguard Tower over here, right? It's awfully close, but we don't have any dive bombers on this lane, so I'm not going to sweat it. What do we have for bosses this time? We've got a geode coming, which the geode shouldn't be too terrible, to be honest. Just shy of another upgrade. Can I pick up three more? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of mana here. And where do we want it? Let's go ahead and throw it right onto that flame aura. And then we'll get wave three going here. Now what I could have done is just gotten right behind the reflect beam here with the cannon ogre and just waylaid into him. That probably would have been uh, the smarter move now that I think back. And really can do the exact same thing with these little ranged goboos if anything makes it out. Now they're all getting spawn, spawn camped in there by grave infection. Huh. 
130 mobs left. Pretty easy, um, easy lane this go around. All right, there's the Geode Prime. Might as well go ahead and put some damage in on it, or it's not even out yet. We got a lava guardian right in front of it. I'm in trouble. Yep. Took too much damage right before the assassins popped on me. But it should be alright. Looks like the geode is getting burnt up. Actually, it looks stuck. That's weird. You don't see very many stuck geodes. Come on out now. There we go. Good enough. Alright, so let's get this Poison Dart Tower all the way up to Tier 5. Do we want another round of ups here? we got no bosses down here still. What do we have this time? Looks like we've got another Geode and then a Tuscar as well. See a couple more sky guard ups. And I think we'll be good game here. Just continue to get back to wrecking it up here for sure. Go Ramsters go. That's just about a perfect combination with the Rams and the Weapon Mans there. Cleaning the assassins off pretty easily as well. What, 120 mobs left? You see uh, the weapon man nodes got froze up there for just a second. I think we'll just keep working on this one. If I get a bunch of grave infections stacked up in that entrance there, anything that comes out is just going to get destroyed. Okay, now here comes Tuscar. Let's get him dealt with. I missed on the nuke. There we are. I got him on the regular melee shot, though. And weird, stuck again. So everything's stuck over here. Get a little healing back. This Lava Guardian is just going to have to go. Here's the Lava Guardian, but the Geode is just stuck way back in there. And there we go. Just one bad left. Come on out, Betty. Perfect. Alright, so Wave 5 is underway. What do we got? We've got a Yeti. We got a Thork. Uh, nothing special over there or down below. So, I mean, really, really good RNG this run. I'm going to upgrade these Ramsters just because I don't really feel like I need to upgrade anything else. And then, you know, I'll get two of the Sky Guards as well. Let's go ahead and let it fly for Wave 5, but so far so good. Uh, looking like a relatively relatively lucky draw for the waves on this one. Hmm, got a couple of cyborgs peeking now. Let's see if we can get some of those grave infections all stacked up in there nicely. Looking good, 160 mobs left. Okay, now here comes Thork and the Yeti. I think for the Yeti, I'm going to just kick it right here behind this Reflect and watch him freeze himself.
Go ahead, Yeti. Throw that snowball. See what you got. He's actually getting stunned up pretty good. There we go. We got the Yeti and the Assassin dealt with there. And then just Thork left. A little nuke to the face and we're good there. And then nothing but flyers and then this uh, little stuck mess over here on this end. A Lava Guardian back in there. 269 million health. Could take a minute to burn through him. We'll get there soon enough. Alright, I'm going to take a step back with all these skellies popping. Ah, I was hoping I'd be able to hit that Lava Guardian from there, but apparently not. Looks like the Lava Guardian is what was blocking everything up. And then the last 20 mobs here just have to burn them up. And there we go. Now they're not, now they're starting to melt a little bit. Wish these guys, I should have put the weapon man back a little bit further. I think the weapon manufacturer on this lane may have been encouraging some of those stuck mobs to stay stuck in there. So they're just a far enough in where they're not taking the full damage, but there we go. Last but not, not, certainly not least. And let's come over and snag up on that Chaos 8 amp. Got to be in there, right? Nope, it doesn't look like there's an amp there. Oh well. But anyway, that was a quick look at Forgotten Ruins, floor 287. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, it is Friday, so today my earlier live stream will be over on Twitch, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then I'll be live later on on YouTube, starting probably around 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will definitely be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.